All right, well, welcome back. We're gonna play some more Age of Empires 3 today. I'm on um, the fourth, I'm gonna be starting the fourth uh, level. So let's get started. Mm -hmm. Exciting cutscenes. Never thought I'd be setting my heels in the sands of the bleeding Americas. Keep the men together. We don't know what predators lurk in that jungle. Animal or human. And now this knight chases me all the way to the new world. No. He does not understand. We are not right. after the lake of the moon. We just want to so, keep away from the surface. I'm trying to remember what Sabine happened. Us here, but we'll worry about him later. We need to get our colony In this started. level, once I remember, I'll try and give a little recap. Ready. So, I'm going to start by building the town Ready? center, but I want to explore a little further in here so that... I don't build my town center right on this ocean here. But I think that yes. this, the, I don't want to go too far where there's an enemy or something nearby. So I'm going to start it here. Uh, I know that now remembering this level has a lot to do with building trade routes on uh, native lands, I guess throughout this map, so I'm going to be really focusing on building these trading posts. Let's see, I've got one guy waiting there, so I'm going to have I'm going to have one of my guys um, build a trading post. Yeah, no, not continue building the colony. I forgot. Only Captain Morgan can build trading posts, so it's important to keep him alive so that he's able to do this. Now, this is the first yes. level where you're actually able to send trading cards or send supplies from home. Um, this bar here is uh, not only experience bar, but it also is until you get another shipment. So I'm going to go ahead and access my home city and pick a shipment card. Now, one of the upgrades for your home city is that you can add additional cards to these to these tiers. Um, you'll be able to get more men, more food, more villagers. Bas just basic upgrades. I'm going to go ahead and start by sending some, some, you know, crossbowmen. That way I'm able to have an army without actually having to set up. And experience actually happens quickly. I'm already at a point where I can send more guys. So I'm just going to send all the army guys. Some of these tools, or some of these cards you can only send once during a game. And some of them you can send multiple times, which is it's nice. Mostly the food and the villagers and the things that are on the first tier you're able to send more than once. But the, the items that are like the soldiers and um, some of the... I like the the upgrades for your city are, are only a one-time use. Now it looks like I went ahead and got an, a, another objective. It's to find an ally with at least two local natives. I've already got one set of local natives here and when you build a trading post and become allied with the local natives you get some of their guys and you're also able to build to build them and they've got some pretty cool upgrades like um, making an ambush party and then being able to, you'll be able to generate these little parties of men that, that they are generated quickly and are pretty useful. So what I'm going to want to do is, I want to build, build a house, a few houses so that it can support my population and then I don't really see a whole lot of fishing just right out, but it kind of worries me already having a red, a red fishing ship, which makes me think that along this coast there are some 
enemy territory. So I think I'm gonna I'm gonna avoid making fishing boats for now. Um, and instead, I'm gonna focus on uh, just collecting food locally and then building mills. It doesn't look like there's a whole lot of food right around me. Uh, there's a treasure right up here though, so I'll go ahead and get that treasure. And then um, I'm gonna go ahead and send these guys an oil commission. I've already got a whole nother card from home. And like I said, these these crossbowmen and rodoleros are only once per per game, so I can't use them again. But I'm going to go ahead and get this Native American lore because these upgrades for the trading post are pretty good. And then um, after that, it's just mostly food and villagers, whatever I need. So I'm going to send these guys out to explore and she can come and... It uh, looks like my guy might have died. So I'll send more out. It was not as tough as he looked. <clears throat> Maybe I didn't actually send him. So, I'm going to have these guys over here. I do like these Logan guys, so I'm going to make a few more of them and have them be over here. She, I'm actually going to have her build a stable once I have enough wood. I don't have enough up at this point. So the guardian of the treasure is almost dead. Man, he almost killed two of my guys. Stronger, stronger than he looks. Mm. Once that done is done, hopefully we'll have enough food to uh be able to, or enough wood to be able to make a stable. Now, because I got that Native American lore upgrade, um, I don't have to spend any coin. And so I'm going to go ahead and, and do I'm going to go ahead and do these two upgrades because I have the food and then once I have the wood I'll go ahead and do the ambush party um, which is pretty fun I have the wood for a stable now I really I really am a poor city planner if you can tell I just I kind of tend to just build um, without without structure <laughs> unfortunately I find that if I try and structure things, then I get too detail-oriented, and I get bothered when when I can't fit things in a row or something throws off off the planning that I had. So I found it just easier to not. So I'm gonna go ahead and first I'm gonna find my captain so that I can build a trading post here, and then I'm gonna go ahead and look what I need. I don't, I don't know where my captain went. I feel like he was just here. Terrible if I already lost him. I don't see him over there. She needs something to do, so I'm going to have her... I'm going to go ahead and send some food from home. When you send food from home, you actually... It'll pop up around your town center, and you have to have one of your villagers collect it. Ah, I sent him over here. So, I'm going to have him build a, a trading post. This over here, and that'll go ahead and get that achievement. It 
does take a little bit for the food or the wood or the coin or whatever you got from your hometown to arrive. Wait, I'm gonna have some of these guys just keep walking around. I like to have I like to have the map exposed. It, you know, it leads to treasures and such, but also it gives me a warning of you know, which side might I might be getting attacked from. With these hills, you have to keep in mind that some of these areas they may not be able to get to easily because they've got you know ledges that they can't climb up or have to go really far around to actually get up there. So while I'm doing that, I'm going to have this group of men actually come over here and just... Why not, right? So she automatically started un unwrapping the food that I had sent from the village, which is, which is awesome. So I'm going to have her collect wood because it's what we seem to be sorely lacking in. And while I'm doing that, I'm also going to have the one ship that I have actually explore. Now, with that being a whale, I could actually get quite a bit of food if I did build a dock. But a dock is going to cost me 200 wood to build, and I don't have that yet. So, future plan. Let me see what's going on here. So, it looks like this is where the red... red bad guys are at. I'm going to have them come back over in this corner then and, and avoid getting killed for no reason. Have this group come and build um, a trading post over here, but they need to attack this one first, actually. It looks like the, the red guys decided to go ahead and build a training, some trading, trading post and have her actually I'm gonna go ahead so I'm gonna once they destroy this trading post they'll be able to build a new a new one it'll be ours and then I don't I don't know quite if that gives me a huge advantage or not having all of them I just would like to. So, I'm gonna have him kill this guy, that way I can have a villager come over and get that treasure. But it looks like they decided to have a few people wander around. So we'll just keep a few of our army guys the home base so that nobody gets killed. So our villagers, though they they have guns, they can defend themselves, they're super weak. So, I bet if I'm gonna get villagers this time, that way I've got more people to collect collect wood and such. These guys can come up here. Actually, they can. Now, I'm gonna take. I'll wait till one of my, my two villagers pop up. And they can attack. Happy Wars lobby system still sucks. <coughs> well, that sucks. <clears throat> so it looks like these guys managed to get somewhat in this corner. Um, I really don't think that this part's going to end up ever being really exposed because they'd have to find a way up here, which I don't think that they will. So I'm going to bring them back to the other amount of the good amount of the group. And then um, I'm doing that. It looks like our villagers arrived, so I'm going to have them collect the treasures that I've been getting, well, I guess killing the protectors of. I'm going to have them build a dock if I can find a good, suitable spot. And then while I'm doing that, I forgot that I had um, a ship exploring, so I'll just have them continue on. I think it's useful they can kill or dock. Not like they're they're using it really for much more than fishing, but you know. Kill the enemy, right? 
So I'm just going to send more food. Sometimes I forget that I've got uh, cards because I, you know, I get all the, the upgrades and such that I want and then forget, forget that there's other things that I could get. So this is pretty cool. I'm going to do, do some of these upgrades. I think it's, um, nice that, you know, the different, the different villages, they offer you different, different warriors. That's the word I was looking for. And so, you know, like, like I was saying before, the other, the other settlement that I have with them, they give me group, a group of people quickly, where these ones give me some really quick, um, strong fighters right off the bat, which I enjoy. So we'll just make some more villagers. And she can come collect this treasure. So it looks like my, my ship sunk while I was defeating, defeating them. I'm going to go ahead and make a fishing boat in a moment. That way, with that whale out there, it can provide some pretty good food and no, not really lacking in food. Go ahead. Still, I think it would be good to have. Looks like I'm going to have them. There's some, got to be something over here that needs to be attacked. I can't see it, but it's bound to be there. Let's see if we can find that whale again. Now, I don't... Uh, I never quite understood the difference between getting a whale and getting fish, but it looks like um, whales actually give you coin and not food, which is interesting. I've got plenty of mines. I don't. I don't understand why a whale would give you coin and and not food, but whatever. I'll take whatever I can get. Looks like uh, I've got the treasure over there. This villager can just. I've got a ton of coin actually, and because those upgrades aren't requiring coin. I'm going to actually, I'm going to upgrade my town uh, shortly because all I need is, is some food. So once I get enough food, I'm going to upgrade my whole town center and bring everybody into a better age. But I'll go ahead and wait until this is at a point where I can, can make a mill and that can help gather food. I'm going to need... Some, some of these guys. Now that just actually took out a lot of my food. So it might be a little bit before I get a chance to upgrade, but that'll, I, I can wait to attack the the town center and, and complete until I've actually upgraded my town. I think it's a really Cool thing to be able to do. So she can build a mill. I'm gonna build it right here. Why? Because why not? <laughs> so we'll go ahead and have some food from <laughs> home. That way, that'll get us closer to to our progress. That's a good one. I've Mostly because I've got a mill and a, a boat collecting from a whale. There are a lot of upgrades actually for boats that are are gathering from whales, and they're not all that easy to find. So I don't choose to do the upgrades for the whales until I find one, because they're really a waste unless you do. I hate this game. Happy Wars. Yeah. It's pissing me off. AIs keep knocking me off the edge. I'm sorry. So we'll bring these guys over here. 
and join, oh, there we go, join the rest of them. Let's see here, and we need a villager. We really don't need coin as much. So I can actually gather, um, get a fishing boat. This is one of those upgrades, like I said, but it's mostly for whales. So, I'm going to left those guys over here in case we get attacked, but I'm not worried as much. I really need to probably build a just a regular armory. <laughs> I'm gonna have him. We're sorely lacking in wood. That's really what most of my purchases have been in. Uh, a fishing ship. I don't know where. I'm wondering. I don't know where my other fishing ship went. So I don't know if it was taken down. Or what? But that kind of makes me curious. So maybe I'll go ahead and build um, a more defensive ship. There you go. Two of those guys. That way they can protect this this guy. But I just got just got that whale upgrade, and I don't have anything do anything for the whale. can come join the rest of the army. Here we go. Because I really want to upgrade my my town before I attack, I'm gonna just have everybody focus a lot on food rather than gold. You can get that from home. Food and wood is what I'll focus on because those are what I need. I'm not going through coin nearly as quickly as I thought I would. Uh, Woohoo! Avatar Award unlocked. Play this game at all. Is it out of beta now? Yeah, so all my stuff was reset. Mm. I also, you know, I really don't <clears throat> don't know if all well, the fish are the same. I think that all the fish outside of a whale are are, but I'm really not 100% sure. So, if you're hunting whales, are you the Japanese? I mean, you're the Japanese. I know I am the Japanese. <clears throat> I think, yeah, for some reason my fishing boat is gone now. Well, hello. Oh so you can go back from getting food. I'm really close to being able to upgrade my town. I think it just takes 1,200 food, so give it a minute. But I like how... They just have a one of their army guys with a weapon walking through. No big deal. Just gonna let him be. Just, if he's walking through the town, just kill him. And they disappeared. So I guess it's of no consequence. But I'd rather they just had somewhat of you know an intellectual response to there being enemies in their territory, more than just sit around and watch it happen. So I'm at a point now where I can upgrade my town. I'm going to go ahead and advance to the fortress age. I think I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do the, the sergeant at arms for this one 
just because I, I want the guys uh, right away. I'm going to be attacking right away, so might as well. But while I'm doing that, I'm also, it takes a little bit for it to upgrade, so I'm going to build a barracks while they're doing that, so I can also have some more guys. I don't have enough food. These, this group of guys will kill anybody that walks by that's, you know, an enemy, but the other group of guys just, you know, that was just a villager. It wasn't, you know, didn't have any sort of weapon. It wasn't attacking at all, but the ones that do have weapons that come, come through and walk through your home just are given free, free passage, which I think is a little ridiculous, but whatever. So I'm going to build some guys. Once we're in uh, the fortress age, you're able to upgrade your, you know, your military and such. But I won't be doing that for this one because the level is, you know, close to being over. So I've got, I'm just standing around. They're just killing all the villagers that are coming out here. But they're getting so close that they're getting attacked by the fortress. So they need to stand back until they're really ready to... Ready to attack. So... Bring these over here. Even if... Don't have the population room. Interesting. Okay. Well, I'm going to go ahead and take one of these and build some more houses. Coastal living for these guys, building by the ocean. Nice and scenic. So it looks like we were finally upgraded to um, the Fortress Age, which basically just gives us some good upgrades. <laughs> by the way, I want to add that you're nice and scenic. Oh, yeah, that was a real... Uh, Real compliment. Uh, I don't know what these guys are doing. They just <clears throat> act in fool. So, we'll build one more house. Now I've got the room for these veteran lancers. I do find it interesting that they take up a population room of two, um, or the other guys only take up a population room of one. I find it kind of annoying, actually. We'll just upgrade everybody. Why not? So he's standing around. She's standing around. She can... Oh, she can't reach that. Interesting. I'll have her just come back. There's no you know, need for her to be over there anymore. Like I said, these guys keep getting so close that um, they're getting attacked by, by one of their towers. Okay, so this guy that's standing around can get this food. I'm just, I'm gonna, I got the, the guys from my upgrade, and once the, the other warriors get over there, we'll go ahead and attack. I don't. I don't know if I have enough guys. I feel like I do, but you no, know, it. I can never really tell. So we'll go ahead and attack now. It always looks like more down here in the screen than when you get actually over here. So the objective is to destroy the command post and the tower center, or in the town center, not the tower center, the town center. So. I'll start with one of those, but they they tend to attack just anything. We'll attack the gate here. I really probably should build um, an artillery foundry. Um, if they start to struggle, and you know, it'll be useful to have some heavy artillery. I don't, you know, the gate's open. I don't see why they just don't go in, but. We'll have them go in and 
I don't want them to attack the person they see. I'm gonna attack the command post. Yep. And they're just gonna keep attacking the wall. I don't... Whatever. They can attack the wall and have fun with it. So, build one of them. Well, I don't know where... I'm wondering if the whale eventually kills my, my ships that are collecting from it. I never actually paid attention, but you know, the ones collecting from it actually just keep disappearing, so... Let's see here. Got these protective guys again. So while that's going on, I'm going to see what's going on here. They just, like I said, start attacking willy-nilly, but now I'm going to attack the town center. I do like that one guy will attack something completely separately than the rest. Everybody's attacking a group of people, and then well, the one is over here. I didn't even really pay attention to this command center. I've got through the Maya. Cotton armor. I don't know if any of those are useful. And at this point, I'm, you know, I'm essentially done, but... It's not hard. I do... I didn't... Uh, once I upgraded to the third fortress age, I can... I can build... I can get a whole new town... You know, town center, and then... Uh, light artillery. But I didn't really pay attention to that in time to, to kill like it. Oh well. So, that, that finishes this level. It's, it's pretty easy one because like some other ones, I don't, I don't really get attacked. I do the attacking so it's, you know, I can take my sweet time in building up a good sized army and just wipe them out, which is what I really like to do. So, now we're finally at a point where... I can start upgrading my home, my home city. Like I was saying beforehand, with the customization and choosing new cards. So on the next episode, I'm going to customize my hometown a little and pick a new card for me to, to get for my home city. So keep watching. You mad, bro?